What if a mother simply doesn't want to be pregnant? She doesn't want the baby. This is a really difficult, a very rare situation because ultimately we can't sit on a woman for nine months and we can't force her to have the baby. But there are certainly some points we should consider if this question arises. Firstly, whether she wants to be pregnant or not, she already is. She is already the mother of her unborn child. The child is already here and nothing, not even abortion, can change that reality. It will end the pregnancy. It will destroy the baby. But she will still have been a mother. She will have been with child. Pregnancy and motherhood begin at conception. So we really do have a problem. But if we want to be totally logical and coherent as a society, then we must say that no one has absolute rights to do exactly what they want in every situation, and especially when their desire is to the detriment of another. There can be no clearer case than this. I don't want this baby and therefore it must die. It must be gotten rid of. Under no other circumstance would this be allowed or even considered. What if she didn't want her two-year-old child anymore, or perhaps an elderly parent or a spouse they had fallen out of love with, or even just someone who was an inconvenience to them? Of course we wouldn't say, well, it's your choice, get rid of them, because we would all see clearly that this was wrong. But more importantly, we would know that it would be illegal. The law does not allow us to take another's life except when it comes to abortion. And that's why the law must be changed to reflect the overwhelming evidence of modern science and medicine. If she does not want to raise this child, then we as a society must step in and raise that child for her. Life begins at conception and must be protected from that moment onwards.